My name is Christina and thank you for watching this instructional video on how to make frames that go into a Langstroth hive. The frames I'll be constructing today are 9 and 1 8 inches and go into a deep super. However, whatever size you're using, they're all assembled the same way. To complete this project, you'll need your unassembled high frame pieces, which include a top bar, a bottom bar, and two side bars. You'll also need 10 nails that measure 1 and 1 quarter inch, a hammer, wood glue, paper towels, a retractable utility knife, and a carpenter square. Let's begin by cleaning up our frame pieces. If you have any extra pieces of wood, you can use your utility knife to cut them off. You can use the razor blade to take off any slivers that you see. The finished product will look much like this, nice and smooth. Next, we will take the top bar and place it flat side down. We're going to attach the two sidebars to each side of our top bar. The widest part of the sidebar will be inserted into the slot on either end of the top bar. Before we do this, I like to add a tiny dab of glue to my sidebar where it attaches to my top bar in this upper groove. If you notice any glue dripping out, be sure to use a paper towel to clean it up. You're going to attach the other end of the sidebars to your bottom bar the same way. To do this correctly, you have the groove on the bottom bar facing inwards towards the groove of your top bar. Just add a little dab of glue and make sure that the sidebars are snugly fit into the slots of the bottom bar. For this video, I'm using a pen to just show where I plan to nail the nails in. Now we're going to add 10 nails to our frame. You will hammer two nails into each side of the bottom bar, and you will also hammer two nails into each side of the top bar. I like to check to see if my frame is square by using a carpenter square before repeating the process for each side of my frame. The final step is adding a nail where your top bar and side bar meet on both sides. The purpose of these nails is to keep your frame from separating. This is what a finished frame looks like. You can go foundationless or you can add foundation. I use plastic foundation that's coated with wax. This gives bees a starting point on which to draw comb. To use this foundation, you insert it into the top groove and the bottom groove of your frame. Then you can go ahead and insert it into your hive. Thank you so much for watching and happy beekeeping.